If you have a ring camera, you have to watch this video. This is unbelievable. I bought my ring camera like maybe two years ago or maybe three years ago. I never expected to have anything like this happen. So, and be sure to watch all the way to the end because this is not just one case. There's a couple of different things I want to cover here. So the other day I was about an hour away from some property that I own in another town. I hear the ring chime go off on my phone. And anytime that happens, I get hyped up because the ring camera at that property isn't activated often. And I'll explain all of that in a second. But most importantly, that property has a big building on it that has been broken into around nine or 10 times over the past 10 plus years. Anyway, so I hear the ring chime. Uh, I grab my phone and I see this jackass walking on the property. Now, you might be saying, well, wait a minute. It's just a guy with a stick walking around. What's the big deal? So here's why it's a big deal. This is the actual property. This is the driveway where you have to walk up to get up here. Now this, where I'm standing, I'm already a good 30 feet away from the main road. Okay, so the point is that this property is not like 15 feet off of the road where you just you know, go up into the driveway and walk up to it. It's, it takes some effort to get up here. This guy would have had to, he comes off of the main road and walks up the driveway and it's, it's not super, super long, but it's, it's a pretty long driveway. And here's the thing right here, two private property, no trespassing and no trespassing signs. Not one, but two, not one, but two. So, you're not going to miss those as you're walking up to this property. You're going to see them unless you're blind. And the guy didn't look blind to me. In fact, and here is the other camera is actually pointed on the driveway to this property. And you can clearly see him looking right at the signs and just walking on by. Maybe he doesn't know how to read. Maybe he doesn't know how to read. I don't know, but come on, seriously, you know that he knows what those signs mean. There's not a question in my mind that this guy knows exactly what he's doing. He is at this point choosing to trespass on this property. So anyway, as you continue up the driveway, it flattens out and it's this long stretch of like gravel and yard kind of mix. And so here you, you can clearly see him walking and this place is, there's a main road, but the property itself, it's pretty secluded as you can kind of see from this footage. Uh, it's surrounded by woods, thick woods that you're not just going to walk in and out of. Like I said, the guy knows he's not supposed to be up there. I'm watching him on my phone an hour away. And like I said, this building on this property has been broken into numerous times over the years. So here's the point of all this. In case you're watching this and you don't know, on the Ring app, you can choose to share like if like if somebody comes up on your property and trespasses or tries to break in or whatever on the ring app you can share that with the um neighbors app so obviously i don't know what this guy's intentions are at this point um like i said numerous break-ins so i get on the phone with the police first and then i call my neighbor who lives across the road who we all all of us around there kind of watch out for each other because of obviously there's crime but after that, I get onto the Ring app and I make a post uh, on the neighbor's portion of the app so I can tell other people around there to be on the lookout for this guy in case he decides to do more than just trespass, right? So when you go onto that app, the neighbor's app, when you want to create a post for an incident, so you click add a post and then it goes to choose a category. And on the category, there's safety, uh, potentially dangerous incidents or conditions like power outages, police activity, or missing persons. There's crime, there's animals, there's environmental, and there's community, and I'm not sure. Well, I don't know uh, how it is where you live, but in where I live, where this property is located, uh, trespassing is a f***ing crime. So I put, I choose crime because that's what it is. Well, about um, 15 minutes, 20 minutes later, I get this email. It says, your post was approved. Thank you for posting to your community. 
Your post was approved, but we applied a different category to better align with our neighbor's community guidelines. Well, what the f*** about trespassing being a crime and me choosing the crime category doesn't match up there? I, I don't get it. Trespassing is a crime. There's two no trespassing signs. The guy walked all the way up our driveway to get up there to our building, our secluded ass building. What else could it be? Okay, so here's why I'm so pissed off about this. Uh, because this isn't the first time this has happened. Check this out. This is where it really gets crazy. Just, just check this out. So around six months before this recent incident with this guy coming up here, I had these two lovely people come up onto the property. Now this time I was there, I was actually inside the property. So I'm sitting inside, I hear the ring chime go off, I grab my phone, I see these two people coming up onto the property. They're already there, they're already at the front door. So like I said, nobody ever comes up to this property. People do, but nobody that's supposed to be there ever comes up to this property. It's very rare. So I'm watching this guy and look, look at what he's doing. What, what is he doing right here? He is clearly looking into my car. What, what else? I don't know these people. I've never seen them before in my life. Again, they walk right by the no trespassing signs, come right up onto the property. They are already at this point committing a fucking crime, right? They're trespassing and they know that they're trespassing. So this guy's all looking into my car. Uh, wonder what he's looking into my car for. Well, you know, obviously he's looking to get into my car. This happens all the time. Or people go up and just try to get in people's cars. So he's probably was about to try something, but then the woman points out the camera on the door. Now you can't see it in this in this footage, but where he pointed is right at a big huge window. So they walk around the building. I guess they were looking for another door or another, maybe another window that's a little bit lower because the window they went, went up to is kind of high. They did go right up to that window. I couldn't really hear what, what they were saying, but eventually they left. So again, I call the cops. I do conceal carry. I always have a firearm with me when I'm up at that property, but you know, I'm not going to run out there with a gun. I'm not doing anything crazy like that. Now, if they really tried to come in or got in, it'd be a different story. Anyway, I call the cops. You know, the cops get there uh, and they're pretty quick over in that area, probably 20 minutes later. So here's the main thing, how Ring ties into this. So I, same thing, go on the app. I want to make a post on the neighbor's thing. I choose crime because that's what it is. They're trespassing already. And then the guy's looking to get into my car. Okay, so I make the post. I don't have that original post in front of me, but I titled it, People Looking to Break In. And I said, these two came up onto our property. It's private property. Explained he was looking into my car, as you can see in the video. Be on the lookout for him. That's it. That's about all I said. It was just a, a short paragraph describing exactly what you see in the actual video. Now, that was the first time I had ever posted anything on the neighbor's app. So I don't know, you know, the process. I don't know how it works at that time. You know, 30 minutes goes by. I don't see it. An hour goes by. I don't see it. Almost two hours after I made this post, I get this email and it says, thank you for submitting your post, people looking to break in. Your post was reviewed by a member of our team and it was not approved. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm going to go over some points of it, but of course you can always pause this. You should pause, pause, pause this and read this. This, this right here is absolutely crazy to me. I never imagined when I posted this video, these two obvious criminals trespassing and looking right into my car uh, before the woman saw the camera and pointed that out. I never would have imagined in a million fucking years that I would have received this email. So this email is talking about how not every crime or every safety event can be posted. Yeah, because it's not important uh, to let other people around my property know that these two are going and looking into my car and and going over to the window and looking in the window. No, they don't need to know that. That, that. That's not important. Nobody else needs to know that, right? So it's telling me to review the community guidelines. But then you get here. 
to reduce the risk of misunderstandings, implicit bias, and profiling, Neighbors makes content decisions based on the reported actions of the individual, never on a poster speculation. These people were looking to break into either my car or my fucking building. They're already trespassing. You've seen the video of what it takes to get it, even get up there. How in the fuck did this happen? What is wrong with Ring? Why in the world? And that post uh, finally did go through. I changed uh, the title and I chose the crime category. And they still sent me the same email as the last, the, the one I went over before. Thank you for posting to your community. Your post was approved, but we applied a different category to better align, blah, blah, fucking blah. What the f else is that other than crime? That is crime. That's what it is. They're trespassing. They're looking to break into my fucking car. That's it. That is it. And when I made my post about them, I didn't say anything about gender or race, nothing. I just described what was going on in the video. You know, there's a reason that the door at this building looks like this. It's got, uh, we have an outer security door with double deadbolts. The inner door has big, thick metal plates that are bolted on e either side. And we've got $350 multi-locks on every door in that building. There's a reason for that. And there's a reason we have a fucking ring camera right beside the front door. And while we have other cameras positioned around the property, there's a reason for that because uh, crime, that's what we're dealing with here. But you know, it seems like ring would actually rather protect people's little sensitive feelings than let their customers, you know, the people who are actually buying and using their shit, use the products like they are intended to be used for security. Oh, you can't post this and talking about stereotyping people and all, none of that matters. None of that matters. This had neither one of these incidences that involved a white dude, a black dude, and a white woman. None of that has anything to do with any kind of bias or race or gender or any of this other bullshit. It's, you know, it has to do with crime, it has to do with trespassers coming up onto this property. It has to do with people who are literally breaking the law. And it has to do with Ring not allowing their customers, their own customers who rely on their products to not only protect their own property and maybe even their lives, but to also report the crime to others in the area so they can also protect themselves and their property. But no, you can't do that. You know, by the time this post went through with the, with these two fine morons, the, our, hours had passed. Hours. So I'm trying to, you know, immediately contact my neighbors and tell them, listen, listen, be on the lookout for these two, you know, now I describe what they're doing, but no, I can't do that because, uh, I'm being biased. I'm assuming what they're doing. No, I'm fucking not. If you don't own a ring camera and you're watching this, I would seriously suggest looking f at alternative products. Uh, maybe they're the same. I don't know. But what I do know is that this shit is freaking ridiculous. Like this is ridiculous. There's no other way to describe it. So I don't know if I'll take the time to, to switch, but, um, I'm thinking about it, but yeah, that, that was just, that just blew, blew my mind. When I got that email, I, I just couldn't believe it, but you know, it seems like ring would rather protect people's soft ass little feelings. Um, just like, a lot of times uh, these days, it seems like criminals are even more protected than the victims. What a bunch of bullshit.